A couple months ago, I talked about the URRT4 from Steinberg that comes with the DSP Mix effects that you can use to monitor yourself with effects without any latency. And today I'm going to show you how to work with the DSP Mix effects in Cubase and on any other DAWs. Now, don't forget to share and to like this video. And if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe. All right, so let's take a look. So this is what we get when opening the DSP Mix FX from Steinberg. It is a typical console look um, and it's very easy to use. So this is the, uh, the software you're gonna use if you're not working in Cubase. Um, if you're working in Cubase, just hang on. I'm gonna show you how to work with that uh, DSP Mix FX within the software. But for now, let's look at what we have here with the regular mixer. Uh, it, it is a mixer a bit um, a lot like the one I have when I'm working with my Lynx, uh, which is the Lynx mixer. Um, this way I can monitor myself without any latency and use that mixer to do my mixes. So it, it is about the same thing with this uh, DSP mix effects. Uh, but the, the only difference that I have here is I have access to some effects uh, that I can use without any latency. Um, so let's go over uh, those effects. So first, if we look at that channel, I, I am plugged into channel one at the moment with this microphone directly into the URRT4. And this is where I get my signal from on uh, this uh, uh, channel. Okay, so on top here, I have access to a high pass filter that I can activate. I have my phase reverse um, option here, and I have the mon effects and insert effects. Now, um, this is very simple to understand. By default, it is going to be set up to mon effects, meaning that you're going to use the insert effects to monitor only. Okay, so those effects will not be recorded uh, with your signal. Okay, your signal is going to stay dry, but you're going to have the option to use a uh, an insert effect. And what we have for effects is a channel strip and we have four guitar amp emulations, okay, uh, that you can use with your uh, while recording guitars, okay? You can monitor with them or you can record with them directly, okay? Uh, so let's first look at the channel strip. So I'm gonna select channel strip. I'm gonna make sure the activate effect is on, and then I'm gonna click on E, and that will open the channel strip um, where I have access to a compressor, an EQ, and there's also a sidechain option for the compressor. Uh, we have uh, on the EQ side, we can EQ manually, and we can also use uh, some, some type of different presets. Okay, I'm gonna leave it flat, but if I want to, I can just um, tweak that manually, okay? So if I wanna use some compression and EQ while uh, monitoring my signal when I'm recording, I am gonna use the channel strip. Now, again, if you wanna record with those effects, just click on Mon Effects and select Insert Effects. Uh, very useful, especially with the, uh, the electric guitar emulation, the amp emulations here that we have. We have the clean, the crunch, the lead, and the drive uh, that you can use. You can also have access to those plugins uh, directly in Cubase as a regular insert if you're using Cubase. And uh, let me show you the reverb. Now, there's the send level right here, which is the amount of signal I am gonna send to my reverb, okay? And my reverb is right here. So I have the Rev X, uh, if I click on E, uh, that will open the actual reverb uh, where I have access to all the reverb settings. I'm gonna close this off for now. And I also have the reverb time that I can uh, just modify directly on the mixer. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, add a bit of signal to this reverb by increasing my reverb send. And there you go. So uh, I can decrease the amount of time, the reverb time and increase it if I want to. And I also have the return uh, volume here, okay, where I can just bring uh, higher or lower the amount of uh, level coming out of the reverb directly into my mix. So I'm gonna bring that reverb down. And this is what you get with this mixer. Now on top, uh, we have access to the general settings 
and uh, the information on your sound interface. Um, you can even store some presets of yours if you have some so you can load them afterwards. Uh, channel one, two, three and four and five and six can be linked together. So if you want to use the same settings, if you're uh, recording a stereo instrument, uh, you can monitor that uh, stereo instrument by linking both channels together. And then at the bottom right, we have the headphones mix uh, that we can work with. So uh, mix, uh, there's mix one, mix two, and we can allocate uh, mix two for uh, on um, on the second pair of headphones and mix one on the first one if we want to and have two separate mixes. Um, now this this will go according to the sound interface that you have, that you work on. Now on my RUR-RT4, I have two headphone outputs uh, and that's why I have two different mixes here. So now let's open Cubase and uh, I'm gonna show you how that works in Cubase because when Cubase is open, this mixer is deactivated. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, now first in Cubase, what uh, you need to do is to go in studio, studio setup, and make sure direct monitoring is checked on, okay? Um, you need to have that checked on, and then I'm going to open the mixer, the mix console, and I'm going to make sure I have the input channels on the left side of the mixer. If you don't see those channels, you can go in uh, and click on the set channel type and make sure the input channels is checked on, okay? And this way you're gonna you're gonna see the input channels, and this is where you're gonna be able to uh, to monitor yourself and use different types of uh, settings as far as monitoring goes. And on top here we have a new tab called hardware. If you don't see that tab, go on racks and make sure hardware is checked on, and then. I'm going to just open that tab and I see this type of window. So this will replace the actual visual of the mixer that we had earlier. Now, if we look at the actual mixer, this is what we get. It is disabled. Now, you, can, you cannot use the USB port. It has been used by another application, which is Cubase. So this is why you see that message. So let's go back in Cubase and check what we have here. Uh, we have here the same settings as found on the mixer, the invert input phase, the high pass filter, and we have here our effects. So if we click on insert effects, actually this is not going to do anything. Uh, if we want to activate those insert effects, we need to go and click in the middle here. We have uh, just a dot here and three options where we can uh, slide the dot on. The top settings will be to deactivate the insert effects. The middle will be to activate the mon effects. And then the bottom one is going to be to activate the insert effects if you want to record with those effects activated. Uh, so you can print those effects. Uh, again, useful if you uh, if you want to record electric guitars uh, with those um, amp emulations. Okay, so now I just want to monitor with those effects. I'm going to keep that into the middle setting right here. And now you can see um, those effects will not be recorded. Now at the bottom, we have the reverb. And again, this is the same thing, you know, the reverb will not be recorded. And there's no way you can record the reverb effect uh, directly in Cubase by using the uh, um, the DSP mix effects software. Um, okay, so but you have access to that reverb as an insert as a separate plugin in Cubase if you want to use it. But for now, uh, let's monitor with the reverb. So if I want to monitor, just uh, uh, click on the E, I have access to my reverb settings and I can just bring up my send, my reverb send up. And there you go. Now I have some, um, uh, some reverb without any latency. So even if I bring my buffer size high, uh, let's bring that up to 2048. There you go. Um, again, I don't have any latency. That's because the signal doesn't go through Cubase, as you can see here. Okay, my monitor is activated, and this is very important. On my channel, the channel I'm going to record this signal, my monitor option needs to be activated. But as you can see, there's no signal coming into that channel opposed to when we uh, we don't have the direct monitoring option activated uh, in the studio and studio setup. I'm just going to deactivate it and then I'll 
There, there you go. go. Now, now I have, have some, some signal, signal coming, coming into, into the, the channel, channel and, and you, you can, can hear, hear the, the latency. latency. All right, so which is pretty annoying. So there's no signal coming into that channel, so that's why you don't get any latency. The only signal that you're hearing right now is the input signal. So that's why you don't get any latency. You're hearing the signal coming out of the interface uh, directly. And uh, so let's go back on top, um, check the channel strip that we have right here. Same thing as we've seen earlier. And uh, we have the list of all the insert effects. And you also have access to the uh, settings by clicking at the bottom here. Uh, if you want to check the headphones settings, you just click on headphones or just click on the headphones tab. Okay, so this is basically what you get and how to use the DSP mix effects within Cubase. Okay, make sure um, that direct monitoring is activated in studio setup. Make sure your track where you're going to record your si your signal, uh, the monitor option is activated, and make sure you have the mono inputs um, on your mix console, and then that the hardware is open, the, the hardware tab is available and open, so you can uh, tweak the settings, the monitoring settings directly in Cubase. So there you go, guys. This is how you work with the DSP mix effects in Cubase and in uh, any other DAW, which is only gonna use the regular mixer. All right, so I hope that was helpful for you guys that have access to the DSP mix effects. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and don't forget again to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel. All right, thank you guys, see you soon.